Peppa Pig Scary Stories, let's begin. And this is They Threw George Out by Dirt and Vio. It was a sunny day. George decided to play hide and seek with Peppa. Oh, this time, hide and seek he game. wanted to find the best hiding spot where Peppa would never think to look and where it would be safe. So, when no one was watching, he climbed into a trash can. It was quite Why comfortable there. The trash, right? George could sit there for a long time. At this time, Peppa <laughs> was looking fool, for him man. and couldn't find him anywhere. The hiding place really seemed good. After a while, oh, he even okay. started to fall asleep. But then, he felt something strange. Daddy Pig tied well, the no trash bag and put it out. outside. Mr. Bull came to pick up the bag, as he usually does. But he didn't know that George was inside. Bruh. Why did he just After tear Mr. Bull through threw the, bag. the bag into the garbage collector, George woke up and tried to understand what was happening. He started screaming, but no one could hear him because of the noisy machine. His heart started beating faster and his breathing became heavier. He quickly felt a lack of oxygen and managed to rip the bag. Dude, that only took him forever. He looked around and realized where he was. He was very scared. He just sat and cried, waiting for the machine to stop. But it kept going and going until it reached the dump. Bro, he should have jumped George out. thought everything was over, and he could run out and ask Mr. Bull for help. But then the garbage started pouring out. A pile of garbage fell on George at the dump. And now George he can't managed move. to get out of there. He was all dirty with waste. And Mr. Bull has already driven off. He looked around and saw that there was stench everywhere and there were no edges Ooh. of this dump. Waste There's was brought here from bro. several settlements. He decided that Mr. Bull would come to this place the next day and he could ask him to take him home. So he just had to wait here for some time. But it would be torturous. George was dirty with something sticky and there were no means of survival here. Got Nothing to something. do. All he did was dig through the trash, looking for something interesting. Until suddenly he realized he was hungry. All he could find was a couple oh, of apple cores, trash. a couple of half-rotten pears, and moldy bread. He ate a couple of apple cores. It was unpleasant, but the feeling of hunger started to pass. By evening, he was very thirsty. He found a few rotten tomatoes in a bag. They were very soft and had leaked juice. George made a hole in the bag Tomato and juice. drank the contents. It was the most disgusting thing he had ever tasted in his life. But it was Pretty already sure getting dark. Bad. So George would have to spend the night somewhere. He was afraid of the dark and needed to find some cozy spot. He found it. He put a few torn clothes under himself and covered himself with a blanket he found. In the morning, Dude, he would wake up and wait for this him. machine. Either it would wake him up with its noise. He was sure that everything would be fine the next day. And when morning came, the machine really did come. Waking hey, him up. Oh, just ran him over, bruh. All right, so that's the end. Holy crap, right? So you decide what you want the ending to be. Subscribe equals a good ending. And a comment equals a bad ending. And if you like, that equals the true ending. All right, next we got Peppa Pig versus Zombies by Santefan. Oh, God. Oh, well, they're eating the pigs. Oh. Now they're eating Mr. P. Oh, it's begun. Oh my god, Peppa and George are in kindergarten. The kids are at school while there's a zombie attack? That does not sound too good. Oh, dang, he got the whole arsenal in the wardrobe. Hey, mommy pig with the double Uzis? That's pretty wicked. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> they got an apocalyptic car. <gasps> it seems like they were ready Don't for worry, this to happen, I have right? Experience. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you doing flips? Alright, this is getting pretty crazy, man. I did not expect this to turn out this way. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Remember, each zombie is 10 points. You got turbo? 
Oh, it looks like you're taking off. <laughs> oh, I'm like, is that my take? Bruh. Oh, they ran out of gas. That's not good. But at least they got guns, right? Oh, dang. This looks like an actual game. It's pretty crazy. They found juice for the car. And off they go. <laughs> oh. Something bad is about to happen. And Daddy Pig has a feeling about it. Wait, that's it? <laughs> Does this sound like we're watching like a mobile game gameplay or something all right and our final video is peppa shouldn't have known that by dirt and vl today the peppa pig's parents decided to leave their children alone with grandpa pig only they went on grandpa, vacation bro. and granny pig was temporarily away peppa didn't suspect that these days would show her a shocking reality and traumatize her psyche forever oh. dang bro. it all started with lunch grandpa's dishes were as always delicious peppa asked how he always managed to make such tasty dishes he replied that it was because he knew how to grow delicious vegetables in his garden. After vegetables. lunch, they went to the garden. This is where Grandpa grows mm -hmm. his vegetables. At the end of the garden, they reached the chicken coop. He also liked to raise chickens. And Pepper saw a strange building standing nearby. Pepper asked what was inside. Well, he got but in he there, said man. the kids aren't allowed to know and shouldn't go in there. That's kind of sus, man. They collected vegetables and returned home. I wouldn't trust they spent that Grandpa. Time together playing with Polly Parrot and playing hide and seek. They played until the night, but Pepper kept thinking about what was inside that building. And when she went to bed, this thought wouldn't leave her. Oh, she's gonna be sneaky, sneaky Later, huh? when she was sure everyone was asleep, she got up very quietly and went out to the garden. She was a little afraid of the dark, but she was also very curious. Oh, let's see what's She in walked there. up to that little building, looked around, and opened the door. Do it. She smelled a strange smell. Oh. There were feathers everywhere, and it was all dirty. She saw an axe and a saw on the wall. Bro, she what felt is sick. Grandpa she Pig didn't understand what the room was for. To, bro. Suddenly she heard footsteps. She closed the door and started watching. Grandpa Pig was walking to the chicken coop with an axe. He oh. took a chicken from there and with a swift swing of the axe, ended its life. That dude is a Pepper menace, cried, bro. Seeing the innocent chicken's life come to an end. She didn't understand why he did it. He's trying to make chicken nuggets, bro. Grandpa Pig started walking toward the door. He tried to open the door, but he couldn't. He knocked and walked around for a while, but eventually returned home. Pepper calmed down, thinking she had gone unnoticed. She waited for some time and then went out again. She felt sorry for the chickens, so she opened the chicken coop and let them out. Now they can be free, and no one will kill them. I mean, they gotta eat something, right? She returned home very That's quietly and went to bed. Them. The next morning, it seemed like it was just a scary dream. She went downstairs, smelling the breakfast that Grandpa Pig had prepared, and sat down at the table. Then, Grandpa Pig said that he knew what she did last night. He had returned home and seen that Pepper wasn't sleeping in her room. Oh, someone's busted. He said busted. that he raised chickens for meat, which was very tasty. And that's why his dishes had a special flavor. Chicken pizza. On holidays or when guests came, he always good. went to his shed at night to prepare meat. But now he had lost that opportunity. Pepper said she doesn't want to eat chicken. But Grandpa swore that there was no chicken in this breakfast. She calmed down and started eating. And the food had a different taste. Oh, but when she finished grandma. breakfast, she saw a green feather at the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Oh no, it's the grandpa birdie. Grandpa cooked Polly the parrot for breakfast. This was his way of punishing Pepper, so that she would remember to obey adults Dude, at all times. Dude, he's a menace to society, man. And Pepper remembered Wouldn't for the evil, rest of her life. Old wicked grandpa. Why would he do that, bro? He's insane. Now she's scarred for life. Look at her. 
Dude, that was crazy. All right, well, shout out to Dirty's VO and Tim Tempon for the awesome videos. I'll link them down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to stay piggy. I don't even know what that means.